Good morning guys, week two here at AMS Manufacturing and Printing. If you guys missed week one of A Week in My Life, go ahead and check that out. I'll put a little link somewhere, maybe this corner, this corner, I don't know which one it is yet. Uh, but yeah guys, we have week two uh, back for week two. Week one was a pretty good success, so I figured I would continue it with week two. Um, today's Monday morning, time is now 7.35. Uh, I already have my calendar and tasks all done for the day. Uh, today's going to be a pretty print heavy day along with most of the week. If you guys did watch week one, there's going to be a lot more uh, printing in this week and we're, while we're uh, getting back into the swing of things after Christmas break. Uh, but yeah, I have uh, the majority of my time this morning dedicated to working on SEO. And then um, after that, going to uh, add some more designs to our WW Transfers page get that all set up but uh, before I can do all that I have to make sure that Michaela has her orders all set for the day so that's what we're going to be working on first getting our screen print transfer orders all set up for the day. The last transparency just got out of the printer we ate breakfast the time is 8 30 I just got to uh, burn these screens right here get those all ready so Michaela can get started printing those for today and once I'm done with that I'm going to get started on working on the SEO stuff that I have to do today. Time is 9.04. I got those screens all ready for Michaela. So once she's done working on her wine and whiskey stuff, she'll go ahead and get those printed. In the meantime, I printed out the work orders for the jobs that we have to do today. So I can get those over to Michaela. And next I am going to be working on the SEO, um, tackling, tackling some of the errors in SEM rush. Um, I just checked it this morning and we are currently at uh, 331 errors still so I uh, have a lot of work to do. The work just keeps piling up, not getting any lower. Hopefully this week we can make a dent in it. And um, the next update that I'll have for you guys after this is posting a TikTok. I was able to get all of that SEO stuff that I wanted to do today wrapped up. The time is 12.36. Um, well, I say all of it, not all of it. There's still uh, a good bit of errors, but I have uh, it crawling the pages again so I can get a fresh update tomorrow morning on exactly what is going to need to be done, including all the changes that we've made in the past couple days. Um, so that'll be pretty cool. Michaela was able to wrap up uh, all of the screen printing orders that we have to do right now. So I think next she's going to work on uh, the wine and whiskey uh, live stream maybe and getting some designs up on wine and whiskey. That is also what I plan to do for the rest of the day. Um, going ahead and adding our pre-made transfers to wine and whiskey from the designers that we bought them from and getting them on the website so that you guys can order them. Um, if you guys are looking to order the pre-made uh, screen print transfers that are ready to ship those are at www.transfers.com we just put up the valentine's day designs so if you're looking for some valentine's day designs be sure to check those out they are pretty cool we are also looking to add some more of like the trendy style just more in style designs um, along with the valentine's day so if you guys are uh it's been some time since you last checked out the site please feel free to check it out uh, let us know what kind of feedback you guys have, what kind of transfers that you would like to see, the designs that you'd like to see. And um, we'll be sure to make our do our best to add those, get some designs that work with that added to the website. Super productive afternoon. I got 42 of the designs that I wanted to get up on Wine & Whiskey up and available on the website. So that is good. I wanted to hit 50, but 42, I'm not going to complain. That'll be all right for now. Time is now 3.10, so I got to go out there and package up the orders that Michaela was able to print today, get those all packaged up so we can send those to the customers. And then I think today we're going to call it a day after that. <laughs> Got those packages all wrapped up and 
ready to go to the post office. Just got to take them off to the post office. And the time is about 3.40. With that, we are going to um, head home for the day, put those in the car, and then head to the post office and head home. I uh, got a lot of stuff done today that I wanted to get done. The uh, SEO stuff and adding those designs was number one on my priority. So I'm happy that I got them done. And with that said, there's another day ahead of us tomorrow. guys Tuesday morning time is now 7 14 a.m. just got into the office about 15 minutes ago the fog this morning was super crazy uh, I think I got some clips of that which you guys might have already saw but yeah today's going to be a uh, another computer heavy day we're gonna start off the morning working on some SEO I want to make sure that we can get all of the meta descriptions for all of the actual products that we sell both on wine and whiskey and AMS transfers um, so that those pages can start to get ranked and then after that we'll focus on another strategy for the pre-made designs and the rest of the other pages uh, to tackle that. But that's what we're going to start off the morning with. First we're going to have some breakfast. Uh, Michaela is making it right now and then um, after I do the meta descriptions I have to send an email to our newsletter subscribers. Um, I have that scheduled for 9.45. And then continuing working on the SEO, that's what our morning looks like. Later in the afternoon, I have to uh, print a DTF order on our full color printer and get that sent out to the customer who placed their order. And I think I'm going to use that as an opportunity to go live on TikTok again. I see people seem to really like uh, the DTF printer on TikTok Live, so I'm gonna give the people what they want. And after that, I think I'm just gonna input some more designs into the WW transfer page. I think we're good on the Valentine's Day designs, but maybe um, we need to add a couple more of the trendy full color designs to the website just to make sure that we have a wide variety of designs that they can choose from because uh, after we got rid of our Christmas selection, we noticed that the site was the catalog at least was pretty lacking in selection so just want to make sure that we can give you guys the best selection that we can ultimately 9:54 in the morning got the seo stuff that i wanted to accomplish this morning done i got a good amount of the meta descriptions added but i still have a few more to add um got to go through and just make sure that we can get those done after i send uh, these emails I'm going to work on sending the uh, email newsletters out to AMS Transfers and Wine and Whiskey. For AMS Transfers, I'm going to be um, bringing up our social media, telling them um, if they want more information behind the scenes, go ahead and check out our TikTok because that is where we post the majority of our behind the scenes content. Um, the reason for doing this is we haven't been linking to our social media in the newsletters, so this will be a good opportunity to introduce them. Uh, to our social media and uh, gain any followers that aren't already following us that are on the newsletter. Um, and then for WW transfers, I think I'm going to obviously announce the Valentine's Day designs that I just put up yesterday. That'll be something that the customers uh, I feel like should know about. And then as long as, as well as any other uh, housekeeping items that need to be addressed, uh, we'll throw that into the WW transfers one. If you guys watched last week's episode, um, we also sent out an email newsletter to our AMS transfer subscribers. Uh, that email performed pretty well. It got 42.5% opens, um, but the click rate wasn't there. It was only 0.7 people who opened the email clicked it. Um, so just looking to improve the click through rate on the email. Um, I'm not too sure that the social media one that I'm planning on doing right now is going to be that. Um, but in any case, uh, we'll give it a try, see uh, what the end, uh, see what the results end up being for that. I uh, will keep you guys updated. Stay tuned. Now, just the waiting game, uh, seeing what those reports generate back from the email uh, newsletters that I sent out. See what kind of open rates we're getting. The WW transfers email that I sent out. I think it's going to do pretty well. It's a pretty cool topic uh, telling people about the new Valentine's Day designs that we have listed on the website. 
So I'm pretty excited to see the turnout that we get from that. But in the meantime, it's back to working on SEO for AMS transfers and WW transfers. Um, my main goal is going to be um, looking into um, services and software solutions that can help me uh, speed this whole process up. Um, because I'm just one person and I've been spending about the better part of a week working on this and there is no end in sight as of right now. So um, there's a couple websites that I found um, in my research this morning. <coughs> One of them was um, Yext, Y-E-X-T, um, and it's a service that will um, curate and distribute all of your information to all of the different business directories. Um, so it has like 40 different directories that it sources uh, from and can update your information on. So I've been considering that, but the cost for just the basic level is $200 per year and they only offer annual versions versus um, there's no monthly plans or anything like that. So I have to decide whether I want to pay $200 per year or just submit to the directories myself. Um, but I've been running into a couple of problems with that where basically some of the directories that they have only source their information from Yext. So there is no way to just give them your information and have them put it on your site other than using um, the Yext service. So something that I'm gonna have to think about, $200 over the course of a year, that's not too bad. I think it works out to like $16 per month. So I might just have to bite the bullet there. It'll save me a good amount of time, at least a day in time. So that alone right there might be worth it. But, um, <clears throat> I'm going to keep exploring, see if there's any other tools out there, maybe possibly a free tool that would do uh, a similar thing as Yext. In the meantime, though, that's what I got to do. I have this uh, scheduled until 12. The time is currently 11.23. Um, doing those emails, the email newsletters took me a little bit longer than I was expecting. Um, the WW Transfers email newsletter just needed to have the uh, subscriber list updated with the most current list of our customers and whatnot. Got that all situated. I will check back in after I am done with this round of SEO for the day. 12, 18 p.m. got the SEO stuff done for the day. I did end up signing up for a directory listing service. SEMrush actually had one of them built into the service. Uh, so I just need to add that to my plan, $40 a month. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's gonna save me a lot of time. Um, out of the 79 that I still had to add, they've already processed nine of them um, with 53 of them remaining and then 16 of them they weren't able to process due to some information that I didn't want to provide. But uh, no problem, that'll be cool. Hopefully that'll be all situated uh, tomorrow morning and then the next couple days and we'll see a big increase to our domain authority within SEM Rush. That's the hope at least. But uh, right now, I'm going to work on browsing my For You page on TikTok, try and find a trending sound that I want to use, get some trending content for that. And then once I have that posted, the next step is going to be going live on TikTok. I... Hold on. Sorry about that. Just had to answer that quick phone call. Um, I think I was saying after I post the TikTok, I want to go live printing our uh, some DTF orders that we have in the queue. I typically like to post a TikTok before we go live because uh, it works with my theory that the uh, if you post a TikTok and you go live TikTok then TikTok then feeds your video to other people um, while you're live to try and get some promotion to your live. Uh, I'm not entirely sure exactly how all of the inner workings work, but that's just something that we've observed on both the WW transfers and choose AMS TikTok. Gonna get that posted and then go live on TikTok. Um, I will try and get some clips of the live, but the past couple times I've forgotten to. Things just get pretty chaotic during that time. So uh, I will see you guys when I check in next. TikTok is posted and live. And while I was doing that, I got uh, two more trending sounds and just did some quick videos for them. Got them saved in my drafts so I can I've released those as I wish. Um, I might use one of them for tomorrow, and then I might use another one later today I, after I end the live, try posting that, see uh, what kind of, ha what, what happens there. But uh, yeah, as I just said, I'm gonna go live on TikTok. I first have to 
Got to build the artwork file for the DTF printer, get that all set up and send it to the printer, get set up for the live. I like to uh, do all of the boring computer tasks that um, I just don't really think anybody would find interesting beforehand, get everything all set up before I go live on TikTok. Because when you first go live, you get that big first, in, first initial surge in viewers. Um, sometimes it can jump up to like 120, maybe even more people depending on the day. And you don't want to have all of those people leave the stream and then you'll be uh, dwindling down to just one viewer. And once it gets down to that one viewer, in my experience at least, I haven't been able to recover. It's almost better to just end the stream there and try starting over a little bit later. TikTok just went live. Got that uh, posted as well as found a couple of other trending sounds that I wanted to go ahead and just get some footage of. Got those saved in my drafts. So when uh, the time comes, I'll be able to post those nice and easily. I think my plan is going to be posting one today after I get done with the live and then possibly saving the other one for tomorrow. I am going to be going live right now. I have to still get the file set up on the DTF printer make sure I can do all of the boring stuff before I actually hit go live, get set up for the TikTok live, and then go live on TikTok. Um, I'm going to try and get some clips. I know that I uh, have a bad rap for actually getting clips during the live, but I'm going to try my best. Also use the live as a promotion or as an opportunity to, to promote this YouTube channel. And uh, for those of them or for those that are looking to get more behind the scenes, hopefully that'll be a good way to do that. Time is 2.41 and a lot has happened since I last checked in. Um, so the last time I said I was planning on going live on TikTok, uh, printing these DTF orders right here. Um, but that is not what the DTF printer wanted to do today, I guess. I even got everything all set up. I got a whole bunch of stuff there to try and keep people engaged in the stream. But uh, yeah, the DTF printer was really giving me problems today. Uh, it's actually something it just finished, so not too bad there. Not sure exactly where I left off that clip, sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, uh, things this afternoon just did not go my way at all. Um, the rip that I used to process all of the images for the DTF printer has really been giving me a lot of trouble lately. Um, I got a recommendation from this guy on TikTok to try CAD Link uh, Digital Factory, which I was looking into uh, today because I just honestly can't stand using the main top rip that I've been using. And um, they offer a free trial, so I'm, I'm gonna give that a try tomorrow and uh, see what that's like, if that fixes any of my issues. If, if the rip is actually my problem, I know it is. I know it's the rip. Um, and get this all sorted out so we can really get production moving on this machine. Um, if you guys are new here and haven't been following along on TikTok, we got this machine in a little over two, three months ago. Um, we got it in in the middle of December, uh, middle of November, and uh, just started running production on it at the beginning of December. So uh, we're still learning this machine, the ins and outs of it, everything on how to run it perfectly. Uh, to say the least, that's for sure. Just trying to optimize everything here. But yeah, uh, needless to say, I was unable to go live on TikTok, just dealing with these problems, making sure that we could get this order printed uh, and sent out in time. Um, so that's unfortunate. I don't know, what, to, what, what are you gonna do about something like that though? Unforeseen problems come up. I am gonna work on getting the rest of this order printed out. I have uh, this file, which I just started, and then I have another file uh, that I have to send to the printer and we'll be good to package this up, get it sent out. Woo. It's been an afternoon. What I can answer for you guys about the uh, DTF process, the DTF transfers, anything in general. Right here, uh, I all wrapped up with the live. I didn't end up going uh, live on TikTok. I started going live at 3, uh, 3.32 right now. It was a pretty good live. Um, there was uh, a couple people that were really asking good questions, asking a lot of questions. Um, so that's exactly what I want. It was a good quality live. Um, really put a, a good spin on the, on the last part of the day. Uh, I'm sure the last clips will show it wasn't doing too hot. Pretty frustrated. 
Um, but I just have one more uh, one more design that I got to print out because they got that white bar on there. Um, so just run that job real quick and then we will cut this, pack it up, get it sent out to the customer. Alright, got that order all settled up and it is now 345. I got to answer a couple more messages and emails before I head out and that'll be it on this Tuesday. Uh, tomorrow I want to uh, download a free trial to that CAD link, um, the digital factory rip for the DTF printer. I um, want to spend some time exploring that, uh, see how difficult it is going to be to learn and uh, what kind of benefits and improvements I will see for the $895 cost. But yeah guys, uh, thanks for tuning in so far. We got a, uh, another day coming tomorrow. Wednesday morning just got into the office about to make a pot of coffee get breakfast going um, on the way in this morning I was able to answer some emails and messages get uh, my tasks and calendar all done so I know everything that I have to do today today is going to be focusing the morning on SEO uh, like the past couple uh, days have been and then the afternoon I want to uh, download the trial for digital factory uh, CAD link see what all the hype is about they do offer a free trial so um, i can go ahead and download that to give it a test run before actually spending the 900 dollars on the software so that'll be pretty cool that's all i got uh, scheduled for the day we'll see what else comes up but uh for right now let's go ahead and make some coffee make some breakfast 10 10 in the morning i have already wrapped up a good bit of the meta descriptions that i wanted to do this morning I have uh, 16 pages ready to go live, but I still have a large handful to do. I think we have like 350 pages uh, that have to be done. So it's just going to be a slow, steady process. Got to get each page done with a nice, unique meta description. In the meantime, we uh, had some breakfast, got our coffee all ingested and brewed. Uh, during breakfast, we kind of had a little quarter one um, goals, just uh, making sure that we were both on the same page and where we want the business to go forward from here with the new year and the new quarter. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep on keeping on with the SEO stuff. I got to do this till 12 and then at 12, I'm going to switch gears to that digital CAD, digital factory CAD link thing that I was talking about earlier. I'm pretty excited to give that a try. So just a little bit more time, hour and 45 minutes left of SEO, and then we'll be able to switch gears to that. 10:15, and we have already gotten a good bit of the SEO meta descriptions done. I think I have 16 pages ready to publish out of, I think, like 300. So um, just slowly but steady making progress on that. I'm going to continue working on that for the next hour and 45 minutes. And then after the hour and 45 minutes is up, I think it'll be 12 o'clock. So I will be switching gears, moving on to the CAD Link Digital Factory trial. I'm pretty excited to give that a try. I'm really just praying, I guess you could say, uh, crossing my fingers that it is going to fix all of my problems and woes that I've been experiencing with this printer and uh, the RIP. Um, really uh, looking forward to giving that a try. But until then, I just got a couple more meta descriptions that I have to add. And then uh, we will call it a day on SEO and switch gears to the uh, CAD link. Got those meta descriptions wrapped up. I think I ended up posting 49 today for the day. Should have done one more, get it to 50. I, I realize that now. Um, time is now 12.07, so I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, digital factory CAD link software downloaded, activate my free trial, uh, play around with that, going to see what kind of features, what kind of improvements to my workflow that this software can offer. And, um, I don't exactly actually know how long the free trial is. I'm hoping it's at least like two weeks, might be something like three days to a week. Um, only one way to find out though, and that's just by getting started and doing it. So let's not waste any more time. 
get right into it. I've been really looking forward to this. Three fifteen, and I was not able to get the uh, digital factory CAD link going on the machine. Uh, just for some reason, couldn't get the printer to connect to my computer. Um, I filed a help request and then submitted um, a question to one of the people who recommended it to me on TikTok. I'll see if they'll be able to give me any advice. Uh, but in the meantime, I got one of the orders that we had in the queue printed on the DTF printer. Got that all uh, wrapped up over here. And then got this order printed out on, uh, for one of our customers on the full color DTF printer. And then also got these transparencies printed out. We also do uh, ship transparencies by themselves um, to customers who might be having a problem with their uh, printer at their shop. So I'm just going to get that packed up. Uh, and Michaela just finished up a order on the screen printing press. So we got to get that all situated, get it packaged up, get that sent to the customer, head on down to uh, UPS, drop these off, and that'll be a day. Uh, Tomorrow's Thursday, so just two more days left in the week. Not that bad. Is there anything you would like to say? What should I say? Until then, peace out, guys. No, I'm not going to say that. morning guys 750 in the morning already off to a good start to have the uh, transparencies printing for today's orders already on the printer got our breakfast made time is 750 in the morning and uh, have all of my tasks that I have to do today prioritized and into my calendar um, after we eat breakfast going to work on getting some more meta descriptions for the website I have a goal of getting at least 60 pages done um, I have to work on that till 11 and then I have to order some t-shirts for a customer that placed their order last night and um, get those in the works so we can get those delivered and print them for the, for the customer. After then we're going to uh, work on printing some of our full color designs for wine and whiskey. I think I'm going to go live on TikTok during that time show uh, everybody some of our designs do a little cross promotion get the ww transfers designs shown on the choose ams page and uh vice versa we uh i might consider going um co-hosting with michaela um on the ww transfers page since it it would work uh quite well for the use case after that i want to uh, write up an email that i want to get in the queue to send to our ww transfers newsletter subscribers uh, i think i'm going to send that at the most optimal time that MailChimp suggests tomorrow. And, um, and then later this afternoon, I just uh, dedicated another two hours to working on troubleshooting the CAD link uh, DTF printer connection. Um, I have a, a number to call for CAD link support, so I'm really hoping they'll be able to uh, give me a hand and help me out through this problem, pack up the orders, and uh, that's what today is looking like. Let's go ahead and get started. 8.30, just ate breakfast, got these screens uh, all ready to go. They just have to dry, and then Michaela will be able to get those printed. Got the artwork slips, or the uh, production slips uh, printed as well, so those are good to go. And next, we're going to just work on uh, getting the meta descriptions added to uh, the website. I have about 60 that I want to add, so I'm already an hour, and I think... Uh, no, uh, yeah, just 45 minutes behind schedule, not the worst. So uh, let's get started on that. 11.12 in the afternoon, I got uh, all 60 of the meta descriptions that I wanted to get done today, all done. Actually got 62. Um, so all of the pages for the normal pages that a customer would normally have to go through on our website are all completely done. So those are great. That's a pretty good. I'm happy that I got to that point today. Um, and then I started working on the uh, 
pre-made editable templates section. That's where the bulk majority of our pages are coming from. Uh, we have uh, just think each different editable template we have a separate page for. So each one of those pages I need to go through, write a unique meta description according to the contents on that page. So I was able to get that started today. I probably got about 25 of the 62 uh, done that were related to the pre-made editable transfers or editable templates, sorry. Feeling good about that. Um, I developed a system, a kind of flow to uh, really help me move through those faster. Uh, today was probably the most significant improvement in this that I've seen. So I'm gonna try and stick with this. Maybe I'll even get some more done uh, later today because it really wasn't that bad. It wasn't anything to dread or anything like that. So now I have to order the t-shirts for one of our customers that ordered last night. Um, order those through our supplier, make sure that we can source all of the t-shirts and if not, figure out a different solution for that. But I don't think we're gonna have a problem. They're pretty basic tees. I think they're Gildan 5000s. It's just maybe the color. I think there's a Garnet color, which is like a super dark red. It's uh, sort of uncommon. I don't think we'll have much, tr much trouble at all finding stock of any of the tees in the order. So yeah, gonna go ahead and get that done right now. After that, I have to uh, print the wine and whiskey WW transfers order. Um, yeah, I say order, it's really just a, a whole combination of orders. Um, Michaela writes me up a list of transfers for full color designs that she needs um, that people have ordered in the past day. And I have to uh, print those out using the full color DTF printer. I uh, also am going to go live during that period. So I gotta hurry up, get these shirts ordered and then uh, get set up for the live printing those tees. I think I'm actually going to give it maybe like 15, 20 minutes. Um, try doing a uh, print to file technique for the rip, uh, the CAD link thing, um, rather than doing, oh man, looks like the gimbal lost me. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to uh, try dedicating a couple of minutes to trying to get CAD link to work using the print to file technique, um, rather than the continuous queue flow that I was trying to get working yesterday. Um, I can have CAD link just work on printing out or giving me a file for, hmm, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, basically just like printing to, uh, copying the file to a USB drive, plugging in the USB drive to the printer and printing it that way uh, versus the continuous stream of data going through from my computer to then the DTF printer. So uh, this is the way that I currently do it with the RIP that I have now. It's, it's the only option that it offers is the um, file print to file option. I will see if that works. The reason that I want to do this is because another person on TikTok that has the same printer that I has, um, I did not see that they were using CAD link. They were using the uh, print XP software to actually still manage their printer, which I thought was interesting. And, and, and is what ultimately gave me the idea to give this a try. So let's get that done. Let's get the file built and try sending it over to the printer. Time is now 1 p.m. I got all of the files set up and uh, copied over to the printer. I did try to mess around with CAD link for about 30 minutes. I was successfully able to get some prints uh, from the print file uploaded to the printer. However, I'm having some issues now with the color profiles. Um, I think I just need to mess with the ICC profile, get that all straightened out, maybe upload the one that I got from the printer manufacturer, and um, we'll be all good to go. But I didn't have enough time to continue messing with that, so I went back to main rip, got all these files sent over, fingers crossed that I do not have any of that white block situation because we honestly don't have time for it. It's already one o'clock, and we have a good bit of these to print. I think we had 42 of the XX or XOXO uh, smiley face design. So that right there should take at least an hour. Uh, we can print about uh, 30 10 by 10 designs uh, per hour. So that should be just a little over an hour. And uh, I told you guys that I was going to go live on TikTok for this. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Start a print montage because I know that there hasn't been one this episode. So right now we're going to go into a print montage. I'm going to get some clips of the design that we're printing right now and the DTF in action. And then after that, I'm going to go straight into a TikTok live.
26, got the uh, orders printed for WW transfers. I got them right here. Sorry, the thing tracks my face, so it's kind of hard to get things in frame. But um, got that all printed. I was able to get a live stream on the Choose AMS TikTok. Uh, it was a pretty successful one. It wasn't the worst. Uh, I think I gained 18 followers during that stream, so I mean, that's not that bad. If we could keep that up, I'd be not that unhappy. Um, and then Michaela, while I was live on printing her uh, WW transfer orders, was live printing the uh, screen print transfers on her WW transfers TikTok. And uh, that stream just wasn't really working out. The engagement and viewership wasn't there. So we cut that one, decided to give our hand at trying to go live on the uh, DTF printer, uh, just showing that to the WW Transfers audience. And it turned out to be a pretty good success. Uh, got some good viewership, got some good engagement, a number of follows. I think the likes were off the chart, uh, like 4.5K likes. Um, so that was great. And right now uh, we're just going to work on packing up the orders that I just printed for the WW Transfers DTF and then uh, package up our Adaptaflask orders. I have to package up some screen print orders. We've got a busy uh, last half hour here. 350 heading out, got the screen printing orders packaged up, got the majority of the WW Transfers full color orders packaged up, just waiting on uh, a few more designs that we need to print out. And uh, yeah, just eating a snack that Michaela made. Appreciate that, Michaela. And that's going to call it for uh, this, thir is today Thursday or Wednesday? Thursday, right? That's going to call it for this Thursday. I will see you guys tomorrow for the Friday vlog. Got to remember to film up here so you guys aren't seeing up my nose. See you guys Friday. Six fifty and I am in the car. We have to make a stop at HEB, which is a local grocery store in the Houston area, or Texas area, I guess, and uh, get some breakfast burritos for Michaela before we head into the office today. This morning, I was able to uh, answer a couple of messages and emails in the car, got my task list and calendar all put in, and uh, ready for the day. Today's not gonna be uh, that busy, just some computer work, printing uh, DTF transfer orders, going live on TikTok, I still have to uh, create the email to send to WW Transfers newsletter subscribers because I wasn't able to do that yesterday. And we'll see where the day takes us. Morning, guys. Just got back to the office, ate some breakfast, and now we're going to work on getting those meta descriptions for the SEO done today. I have a goal of getting 100 pages done, so going to get started now. I, uh, the time is 9.25. I, um, I'm going to dedicate, I think, an hour and a half to it and um, check back then, see how many we got done. Hoping for 100. All right, got the uh, SEO stuff that I wanted to work on all wrapped up. I unfortunately wasn't able to get all of the uh, 100 pages that I wanted to complete done, but uh, nevertheless, we got, I think, 66. So nothing to uh, complain about, still a pretty good number. And right now I uh, got a number of designs back that we're going to upload to the WW Transfers website as part of our weekly updates. Um, I think we have uh, over 20 different designs that we need to add to the website. Some of them are for our St. Patrick's designs. Other ones are just more trendy, uh, kind of uh, trendy designs. I don't really know any other way to describe it. So I'm going to spend the next two hours working on getting those uploaded to WW Transfers, and then I'm going to uh, use that to write up a newsletter, tell our customers about the new designs that we added, get that all queued up to be sent. Um, right now, like Friday and the weekends is not really the best time to send emails because the open rates aren't, uh, no one's really looking at their email, you know. So I think I'm going to queue it up to send uh, at whatever time MailChimp recommends on Monday morning and um, that way we can get the, uh, the highest open rate possible that we can because we obviously want uh, our customers to know about the new designs. Today's uh, flying by. I don't know how, the, how it's already 12 p.m. Um, so just got to try and really get some deep focus in, uh, get these designs uploaded. Don't want to uh, take any extra time than, than is necessary because I want to make sure that we can get all of these designs uploaded. 
Um, Michaela right now is printing off some of the WW Transfers screen print transfer orders, getting those all packaged up and sent out. Um, today, I think we're pretty uh, all caught up on our custom orders. I think we do have to print out some orders for WW Transfers though on the DTF printer later today. So I'm going to use that as an opportunity to go live on TikTok like I have been doing the past week. Um, I've really been enjoying it, found uh, I think maybe some success here. Uh, people really seem interested in the DTF printer. It always elicits a lot of questions, a lot of good quality questions too. So we'll keep doing it. We'll keep giving the people what they like, what they enjoy, and uh, we'll keep it one step at a time. Okay, so things have slightly changed since the last time I checked in with you guys. Um, I had a discussion with Michaela, and so the plan is that we are going to come in this weekend, and I want to come in so I can get some uninterrupted time uh, with the DTF printer working on CAD link, uh, just trying to get that all figured out. Um, I think I mentioned yesterday that I was able to successfully uh, print a file from CAD link, um, but the only problem was the colors were completely off. I wasn't even printing green and yellow and the cyan and the magenta were switched. So I think it's just a matter of updating the ICC color profile on that. Um, but the past two days I haven't had enough uninterrupted time where I didn't have to print jobs on it uh, to mess around and play with it. So I wanted to come in uh, this weekend to get some of that time in. Um, but I think what we're going to do is come in on Sunday and then tomorrow I have to use most of the day to edit the footage for this vlog that you're watching now. Um, last week it took me like five and a half hours to edit the vlog. So hopefully I can do it in like four hours um, for this upcoming one now that I kind of got the hang of it and uh, have a flow going. So that's going to be the plan. I'm going to edit the vlog tomorrow, um, Saturday. And while I'm doing that, Michaela uh, offered to take uploading the designs to WW Transfers off of my chest. So instead of doing that right now, I'm going to save that for her tomorrow. Um, and then she's going to upload the designs to WW Transfers while I am uh, editing the footage that you guys are watching. And on Sunday, we will come in. I'll get some time with the DTF printer. I think Michaela mentioned that she wants to uh, print a couple of the screen print WW Transfer uh, designs that we have just so we can get ahead and make sure that we're stocking uh, the designs to get you guys your orders faster. Um, but yeah, so. Switching gears, I am not going to be working on the WW transfers uploading right now. I think I'm going to, it's 1240 right now, get the last 20 minutes in to upload some more meta de descriptions for the website. Um, and then after that, once it's around one o'clock, I will start building the file for the DTF transfers that we have to print for WW transfers. Get that uh, all loaded onto the printer. And then once everything is set up for that, I will uh, go live on TikTok and uh, just show, I think we're both going to go live uh, on the Choose AMS and WW Transfers page showing the uh, full color DTF prints because they seem to be doing pretty well. The uh, performance and engagement and those, those live streams are uh, not too bad. But yeah, just want to keep you guys informed. I'm going to get to uh, adding those meta descriptions for the last 20 minutes. I'm still... You guys are still looking at my nose. I got to get you guys up a little higher somehow. We'll figure it out. Thanks for sticking around. guys 356 we are heading out now um, we were able to get uh, two of the three files that we needed to do for wine and whiskey printed um, unfortunately the printer ran out of film um, and then we had when while we were changing it the head struck the film oh man guys it's honestly been like a nightmare the past two hours um, so after the head strike I had to uh, reload the film and then after that we were having some registration issues uh, where the white wasn't lining up with the uh, CMYK color under the design 
So I was adjusting some of the settings and when I was adjusting the settings, I made a catastrophic error and um, adjusted the base step to a number that I forgot the original number to. So then, um, oh man, it's a long story, but basically I adjusted some settings, couldn't remember what the original settings were, and then things were looking like incredibly bad, super wonky. The clock did just strike four. So with that guys, I think I'm going to wrap up this week two week in my life here owning a screen print and DTF transfer business. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, thank you so much for watching this far along. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate you guys contributing to the watch time. If you guys are looking for custom screen print transfers, please feel free to go to our website, amstransfers.com. You can also find some pre-made ready to ship transfers if you guys don't have your design already made at www.transfers.com. And thank you guys so much again for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give a like to this video down below. It really helps me show that you guys are enjoying the content. Please don't forget to subscribe. I do, I'm, I'm trying to do these videos every week. Uh, so far, if I get the edit done tomorrow, it'll be two for two. These videos go live uh, every Sunday at 7 a.m. Central time. So make sure you guys subscribe, hit the like button down below. And with that guys, I'll see you next week.